We want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Makar Kodash, double honors the apostles and elders of the great and storm, and salutation to the sincere Akim, that's pushing through the holy scriptures and clear and sincerity and truth. This is Brother Yahweh Brother Zakaria. Alright, so we're going to play this clip about uh, this new speed back in this land here again, know, and then we're going to break down the lesson, alright? Police sources today confirmed that a pastor whose name was provided is in their custody as they probe allegations that he raped female members of the congregation. Today, when the newsroom visited the man's first three diamond home, the place was shut tight and the exterior lights of the building were on. No one seemed to be at home at the time. However, in discussions with persons in the area, they confirmed that several women would from time to time be visiting the home of the pastor. He was described as a man who shares a very strenuous relationship with some members of the community. During a visit to Parfait Harmony where the church is located, the building sports the same color as the man's house. No one seemed to be there either. Persons in the community, when asked about the scandal now facing the church, said that they are unaware of it. One woman who spoke with the newsroom from her veranda said that her daughter would attend the church from time to time. Today, we were able to confirm that the pastor was being held at the Diamond Police Station among the regular prison population there. He was picked up on Thursday evening as he was preparing to head over to the church. The women, who we were told number more than five, are claiming... Good enough, Lena. Take on, right? Mm. So I read this precept real quick. Right? Because, um... We look at this guy also, right? You know? You could tell that using the tight money to go and you know for mostly for personal use because his house is bigger than church yeah. right? which yeah. the the physical building we know that the most i don't require it yeah. but if let's say you had to build a church wouldn't you invest more money in the church rather than your house yeah. all right so you know that was the first way where this guy already going out right? this is ezekiel 34 and 2 he says, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel, mm -hmm. prophesy and say unto them, Thus said Yahweh, power unto the shepherds, right? Which the shepherd goes back to pastor as well, all right? It's the same thing. He says, Woe be unto the shepherds of Israel, all right? And Israel is the so called Latinos, Negro, Negroes, and natives. Right, so called Amerindians. It says, Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flock? Mm. All right, and none of these, none of these pastors, right? They don't do tithe, they don't tithe away as it says in the scriptures, mm. right? Because we see from the account in Acts that. The time money is supposed to be divided amongst the church, all right? As every man have used. So let's say somebody in the church, you know, got some sort of ailment and they need some money to do a surgery or something. The church is supposed to provide them money, right? And you know this guy ain't doing nothing like that. He take all the money and puts it on the house, okay. all right? Why would you also be bigger than bigger than the church, you know, which which is Christians is all in regards this all the, the church building in regards to them being the temple of the Mosai. Why would you know why would you also be bigger than the temple of the Mosai? It don't make no sense. All right. Yeah. Okay. Continue. I'm going to put the piece of out of the shop here. The women, who we were told number more than five, are claiming that the pastor assaulted, threatened, and touched them inappropriately. They are contending that he would encourage them to do so and do strange things under the pretext that it was the Lord's will. Levi Smith, Newsroom. All right. And was I going to reveal in the witness of this man? Um... Read Matthew, Matthew, please, if my daughter's right. Matthew, it's 
slot of Corinthians, first Corinthians chapter four verse seven. First Corinthians Yeah, so I know the most I have been a, a, a public public confound, you know. He was publicly confounded. Now everybody is gonna look at him in in, in this day and, and and that's because he didn't follow his last year how bad she was shy. Yeah. This is 1 Corinthians 4 and verse 5. Therefore, judge nothing before the time mm -hmm. until the Lord come, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness and will make manifest the counsels of the arts, mm -hmm. and then shall every man have praise the most I feel. So, what the most I basically do is bring bringing everything out of the darkness into the light and the true worship of the Yahweh shall, shall be revealed. So we can't judge nothing before them. So Yahweh Shemosh is the head judge. We remain the Lord and we move by the Spirit. Right? When we when we when we bring all these information and whatnot, it's the most I need to None of us you know, plan on plan any of this. This is our part of the most I plan. Right? Right. I'm a weird precipient breaking up about the shop. This is Isaiah 56 and verse 10. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. And ignorant means to not know, right? Yeah. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down. Loving to slumber. Yea, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all yeah. look to their own way. Everyone is for his gain. From his court, from his court, and so, you no know, first and foremost, most of these pastor, not most, but all these pastor, you know, they don't have the the congregation best interest at heart. Mm -hmm. Right? They have their own interest at heart, and the scripture said they are ignorant, mm -hmm. meaning they don't know. What they don't know, they don't know the Mosai. Right? They don't understand the Mosai word. All right. Now, if you if you left a a watchman that sleep, all right, to watch over, because basically in the ancient days you used to always leave a watchman to watch over, you know, the land, all right, or else you will be invaded mm. and and you know your land will be destroyed, yeah. all right. So basically, if you left a watchman that you know would sleep on the job, all right, which is what these pastors doing. Then the city is gonna get besieged, all right. And the city in this case is um, is the congregation. The congregation can get besieged by sin and be destroyed. Beautiful, beautiful, all right. Yeah, and um, if I might add to right, it says um, that they're greedy dogs and they could never have enough. The, all the money that was coming into coming into his you know possession, you know, it got his head. You know, he painted he painted the house bright red. You know, I don't, probably saying God could have cropped the blood of Jesus or whatever. You know, that false doctrine. And when that power gets to your head, you feel that you can do anything and get away with it. And 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 um, he, he then falsely used Yahweh Hashem Yahushai word to justify his wickedness of, of you know dealing with these women. And I sure more some of these women was had had meant men in the lives because you know they didn't he didn't give a shit he didn't give a shit you got a priest in the tea right now yeah it's yeah. the spirit yeah so this guy was you know all about his interests right mm -hmm. he didn't care about the lord yep you know he put the house of the lord first yeah and um, they, this stuff gonna keep coming out, you know. They are the most I can keep bringing out all the all the, the skeletons in the closet, so to speak. Yeah. Okay, this is First Timothy three. I know uh, I read from verse one. It says, "This is a true saying: If a man desire the office of a bishop, mm -hmm. he desire it a good work." Mm -hmm. Right, verse two. A bishop must be blameless. Blameless, as in, you must have no 
no dirt on him. You know, his 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 um should have no no blemish, so to speak, right? Can't. Right Can't. And this guy clearly don't know the Lord. Right? The reason being is because you don't want to go around raping women. You know, yeah. they can bury your hand in the jail. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh continue he said a bishop must be blameless the husband of one wife vigilant sober of good behavior given to hospitality apt to teach mm. all right i know there was nothing vigilant or sober about this guy mm. all right because vi vigilant means to observe the environment all right mm. now if if he had been vigilant he would have known that exactly what he's in right now that's what would have happened you know it says apt to teach all right um up means like liking liking to teach all right uh verse 3 it said not given to wine no striker <laughs> not Greedy or f filthy lucre, mm -hmm. because I'm for me. The report was saying that you know he was aggressive towards these women. Mm -hmm. He assaulted them or whatnot. He tried to take because the power got to him. Demons pushed him, mm -hmm. and he he entertained them. You know, the scripture says that the man say that he is tempted of the most side, but he is tempted by his own lust. You know, you hear that? Yeah, he could pull up on um, filthy lucre and mm -hmm. so. Yes. Two in verse. Two. Chapter two and verse. Uh, verse two. That's G one hundred and forty-six. Ah, he shrunk her days. It says, eager for base gain, greedy for money. <laughs> Right, mm -hmm. and and one of the base gain too is women. All right, yeah. Yeah. you know, uh, a bishop, a man of the Lord, ain't supposed to be running, you know, behind a lot of women in these times. All mm -hmm. right, those those to show that this man wasn't no man of the Lord. Yeah. All right, and so for all the rest of so called. Christian and pastor, right? Because Christianity at its roots, hey, what is it, what this guy is doing is exactly what Christians been doing for, for centuries, mm -hmm. raping yeah. people. Right? <laughs> no, literally, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of. If you go into the history, the Roman Catholic Church, Roman Catholic Church, um, all of them, the rest of the denominations as well, and. and they're doing it on the low until the most I bring it out because last year, about, if, forgive me if I don't remember the number, but 200 clergymen was um, accused of, of um, these, these sexual perverted acts with different accounts on, on, on websites like Tinder and whatnot. And, you know, this information was, was it was brought out, but, but it was covered up. And that's what, that's what they've been doing. These are supposed to be sacred men or whatnot. If you want a wife, yeah, wife. You going on a on a dating website, the Lord says. The scripture says a wicked woman is a portion to a wicked man, and a godly woman is a portion to a righteous man. If you're a righteous man, you don't have to do that. The most I can start you out. Right up. Yeah, can. So basically what he's saying is that be half or kind of far far from the trick. <laughs> right? Because uh, really and truly, every religion takes on a energy and a spirit, mm. right? So the energy and the spirit behind Christianity mm. is really, um, is really base gains, all right? Uh, a worldly. false delusion of prosperity, worldly, worldly, um, yeah, kind of worldly gains, okay. you know. Yeah. 
I love Chris Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. That finishes. It says, uh, back in First Timothy 3 and verse 3, not given to wine, not a striker, not greedy or filthy lucre, but patient, not a brother, <laughs> and, co and not, not, not covetous. Right. And this guy wasn't none of these things, all right? Because it like like you said, uh, the um, report said that you no, know, he was he was physical with the women, right? Yeah, aggressively physical, right? So roughly paraphrasing it. <laughs> So basically the guy is a brother <laughs> and it says um not covetous right basically he was trying to covet you know possibly another man's wife and if not another man's wife he was covetous about getting these women all yeah. right because from the time they said no he would he would have just let her go exactly all right Read verse four about yeah. uh, verse four it says one that ruled well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. All right. So that, that's to show that even his own house he didn't have in order. Because now look at he's in jail and his whole family is split up because he, he couldn't control control his own his own lust and desires. He didn't, right. he didn't follow the word. And that's principle it is. This is Ephesians chapter five, verse one. As be ye therefore followers of the most side as dear children. He didn't humble himself as a child. If he's a big man and he could do whatever he want, I know the most I show you that I can do. I can reveal your wickedness, right? It says, and walk in love as Mashiach also hath loved us. He didn't show love to, to the to the sheep that he had under his stead. Because now the sheep can remain now the sheep remain fastless and they can lose yeah. if, if they had faith, they would have lost all the faith. That this man was working on because he owned selfish selfish the scripture says that we labor not for ourselves but for those that seek learning that's why we men we humble ourselves we don't push up ourselves for these things right and had given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice of the most high for a sweet son and savior verse 3 but fornication and all uncleanness or covetous that did not be once named among you as become a saints, he wasn't. He wasn't becoming of a saint. He wanted to be a saint in the open, but a demon in the, in the dark. Yes. And there's only um, yes. Okay. Don't no worry much. We we'll go to Jeremiah twenty-three and one. And close after this. Yeah. Are we going? Yeah, we're going to get two laws after this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, some more precepts. Huh? All right. Sure. Yeah, but I'll point out you want to make too, right? You know, um, Timothy here, it says, First thing, it's true and four, it says, One that ruleth his own house, having his children, mm -hmm. in subjection with all gravity, right? Meaning seriousness, yes. right? Um, let's see if I get it real quick. That is Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 24. It says, Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? Say Jehovah. Do I not fill heaven and earth? Say Jehovah. All right. It says, I have heard that the prophets, verse 25, I have heard what the prophets say that prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have a dream and have dreamed. All right. So he was prophesying falsely and saying that the Mosai, it was Mosai will for, for, for he to have these women. All right? And the Mosai clearly said that, can any hide himself from me? Mosai brought his, his intentions to light. That he only, he only wanted to become a pastor so that he could, you know, you know soften a rod. Good. Okay, for yeah, softening your right, um, <laughs> amongst other gains, right? Because really and truly, when you when you look at these um Christian uh 
pastors, all right, or churches, I should say, mm -hmm. they all the top the top um, members of the congregation. They used to be living comfortable, mm -hmm. you know, and the other members just struggling to make it to church. And pay the tights. But the tights coming mm -hmm. straight, right? Yeah, so the point is, back in Timothy, it says, Timothy 3 and 4, it says, um, one that ruleth well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity, and your house also go back to your body, right? Okay. And the guy, he didn't have any control over himself, right? That's why he did what he did. And, he's, and um, this is First Corinthians 9, and verse 26. It says, I therefore so run not as uncertainly, so fight I not as one that leads to the air. Mm -hmm. And all these Christians, they beat in the air, all right? Because you're not... You're not doing anything for the most side. All right. Mm. Verse 27. It says, But I keep my body under nice. and bring it into subjection. Beautiful, beautiful. Lest by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a cast away. All right. So, hey, when these, when these Christians, you know, you hear you going to church. You hear them talking you know, about stand the devil, whatever it is. You know, it's basically talking about themselves, mm -hmm. right? Whenever they speak, they cast in the way the self. And you know, you want to get into Yeah, yeah. yeah it's All right. Let's twenty-one. Yeah, it's Rock chapter 21 and verse 27 it says, When the ungodly curseth Satan, he curseth him his own soul. And see? When mm -hmm. the ungodly curses Satan, he curseth his own soul. Mean, right? Meaning that uh, um, a devil can't cast with the devil. Only light can push away darkness. Darkness can't push away light, and darkness can't push away darkness. And we dwell together. All right? Yeah, but darkness could feast on darkness and multiply. <laughs> exactly. That's why when um, the, the legion was in the man, when you look it up, it's thousands of demons. Yeah, they multiply, right. they bring in seven. And um, the one time, yeah. the man who swept on Giant's house, he bring in mm, seven, seven more evil spirits worse than himself. Yeah. yeah and seven means complete. Yeah. Like, a complete portion of demons, which means he bought... All the way yeah, out, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that precept for a little tea block. Yeah, I get one more precept. Yeah. Right, because to the, the domino effect, right? <laughs> so, stuff like this is mm -hmm. that you can get a lot of people coming forth and saying, Oh, and you know. I don't believe in the Bible because yeah. this wicked pastor, this wicked pastor, and that wicked pastor. Mm. But really and truly, we don't care, all right? Because we know this is probably the spirit that the most I put on you. Yeah. Yeah. If if it's not for the moment, right? You probably repent and later come into the truth. Yeah. For heaven, you're too tired, you know. And that's why we read on in Corinthians, First Corinthians uh, four and five that. Don't judge nothing before time. Yeah. yeah. The spirit, the spirit is what lead us to judge things. The spirit is what, what tells us tells us to put curses on somebody or bless somebody. You know, because we it could be us at the end we, we don't know if we'll endure it again. That's why we praying, we doing these videos, we trying to bring forth fruit as worthy of salvation, you know? Right up? Yeah, can you can see mm -hmm. back in home. Ezekiel chapter four. Mm -hmm. I started verse. Started at uh, verse three. All right. It says, "Ye eat the fat, and ye clothe you mm -hmm. with the mm -hmm. wool. Ye kill them that are fed, but ye fed not the flock." Yeah. And fat talking the richness, <laughs> you know, the true, the true blessings. That's where they, that's where he, he um. He exploit because 
could use you could lose your money to make sure people and show people love and show people the glory you have about Shinya Shai. And that the most I will be praised, not the most I can be um uh, like cast out and not be taken serious because he's supposed to be that 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 example. But he he the most I brought him base, brought him low. Confounded him, you know? Yeah, it can't. It right. says, um, says he kill them that are fed. He kill them. He kill them spiritually, even more dead than they already are. Yeah. Right on. Uh, verse 4. So disease have ye not strengthened, mm -hmm. neither have ye healed that that which is which was sick. Yeah, so these women wanted to be, you know, healed spiritually and right. he decided to wound them even more. He decided to um worse in disease is like like when um he started treating with cancer they said it's about kill you and not mm -hmm. bring you back pump you full of radiation and all these other sick things and then bring you back and that one is the most side of doing all this got him, got him thinking that these things work these things don't work the, the herbs and prayer is what makes what what heals you right right yeah because yeah like you said uh, these women you know was looking for spiritual um, healing more right. or less in, in, more in, or in, less. in ignorance right yeah kind yeah. right yeah in ignorance because um they don't they don't know the truth mm -hmm. all right but the point is the pastor and every so-called christian pastor you know whether we believe it or not you know all they do is exploit the exact situation all right mm -hmm. You know, people come come to them lowly, you know, and confine in them, and they exploit the situation. Yeah. All right? It's like, uh, Will said taking candy from a baby, yeah, uh, praying on the weak. This is Esau. This is the to Esau. Can. That's what the scriptures are right here. Pray, praying on the weak. Mm -hmm. When you go down. Yeah. You know, it says, um, Neither have ye healed that which was sick, mm -hmm. neither have ye borne up that which was broken. Yeah. Neither have ye brought again that which was driven away. All right. And you, and you know what's a common thing too, right? These same people is that they come from uh, what society is deemed broken homes. Yeah. All right. So you as a pastor or a man of the Lord, you're supposed to mend whatever is broken about a person, yeah. you know, but instead... What is what this guy does, all right? And all you rest the so-called uh, Christian pastors, and even some some Israelite camps. Damn, damn, right? that's right. They take advantage of the situation, right? Greedy dogs. Can huh. it says? Neither have ye born up that which was broken, neither have ye brought again that which was driven away, neither have ye sought. Hey, if if a young lady, you know, probably run, run away from home and went to the guy, he wouldn't take him back to her parents, <laughs> you know? Yeah. The, the demons would have whispered all sorts of things in here. He you could stay with me, you know? Okay. Have this whole big house. You don't worry, my wife and children, I'm going to sell them X, Y, and Z. And, you know, it's, you know, he, um, he pressures you, you know? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it says, neither have ye saw that which was lost, but with force and with cruelty Ooh. have ye ruled them. Ooh, beautiful, love, beautiful. Right? This is spirit. Listen, there's, there's a very, yeah, kind. There's a very cruel thing that he did. Mm -hmm. All right? No, he didn't lead these women to righteousness. Mm -hmm. You know, tell them, have your head, stop wearing pants. You know, mm. be respectful to your husband. That you're an Israelite. You can't. Um, you know. No, no, oh, oh no. Exactly. Is yeah. it on that? Yeah, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And it says, verse 5, And they were scattered because there is no shepherd. And they became meat to all the beasts of the field when they were scattered. Mm -hmm. All right? So, which goes back to the, the point what I was saying earlier is that the domino effect, so to speak, of you know something like this is a lot of people you know gonna turn their mind from the Bible, but the most I can require they 
their mind at passes like these on. All right? Yeah. You have blood on your hands. Yeah, can. You have hundreds and thousands of blood on your hands. Mm -hmm. All right? And the effect that you keep saying, huh? Can. And the scripture say, um, these now become beasts. <laughs> Meat. Right? Meat. Yeah, Meat can. to the beast. Yeah. Meat to the beast. What was the beast? These other nations and these other philosophies. Yes. All right? Because now they're going to turn to something else. Right? Mm. And that's evident in our in um in our history, right? When when the high priest went off back in Israel, the people will go out and serve other gods. Yeah. Alright? And it's the same thing happening today. You know, these these pastor just breaking everybody mind away from the Bible, the only scriptures. Yeah. You know? Thousands and hundreds at a time. Maybe they Jeremiah 23. Right? And this is verse 6. It says, My sheep wander through all the mountains upon every high hill. Yea, my flock was scattered upon all the face of the herd, and none searched after after them. Yeah, and those those it's on the yeah, none search after them. This which verse read? Six. Yeah, that was verse 6. Yeah, my sheep wandered through through all the mountains, talking about these different governments and, and, and nations and philosophies and whatnot. And upon every high hill, yea, my flock was scattered upon all the face of the earth, and none did search or seek after them. Good. The, the true, none, as in these passages give up. They don't care. They don't care. They, they can just use and exploit them for whatever, but. Like we, like we paraphrased the precept earlier, we live enough for ourselves, but those for those that seek our learning. That's why we go on the streets and we preach in the, in the highways and byways, mm -hmm. in the mountains and hills. Mm -hmm. so, like, uh, yeah, live peace more. Yeah. Right? And this is um, verse 10, same Ezekiel 44, 34 and verse 10. It says, Thus said Yahweh Paul, Behold, I am against the shepherds, mm -hmm. and I will require. My flock at their hand Damn. and cause them to cease from feeding the flock. That's right. That's we do. Took them away, throw them in jail. Can, can. <laughs> Neither and shall. Then we we'll yeah. Then we will see how far his perversion really go because he might turn a fat to do. Can. If he's not really a father, good. Can you know? He might pick up the the seven more demons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Okay. Right? It says um. I will require my flock at their hand and cause them to cease from feeding the flock. Neither shall the shepherds feed themselves anymore, for I will deliver my flock from their mouth mm -hmm. that they may not be meat for them. All right? Yeah. Which is exactly what I was saying earlier. Yeah. Yeah. The past is basically praying on the congregation. Mm -hmm. All right? The, the, co the congregation basically paying these pastors uh, tributaries you know? <laughs> yeah 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 he's yeah, tribute talking about being being not being a, a lord or a tyrant over, over the flock you know what do you timothy but um this is jeremiah 23 and 1 it says go be unto the pastors and will means destruction all right that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor save the hour all right let's see it says, therefore, thus saith Yahweh, power of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold, I will, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, saith Yahweh. All right, and I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries whither I have driven them, and will bring them again to their folds, and they shall be fruitful and increase. And that's what we laboring to do. After all the damage that that fool has done, you're laboring to mm -hmm. save, you're laboring to be saved and be saved with the 144,000 men and the one third men and women children that will sincerely serve the help of the Right? Uh, I want to get to right? Yeah. yeah, this is Exodus chapter 22 and verse 16. It says, If a man entice a maid that is not betrothed, which means promise or married, right? To another man and lie with her, he shall surely endow her to be his wife. Yeah, yeah, yep. So, you know, even if these young women 
wasn't uh there wasn't Mari because we don't know could have been Mari could have not been Mari mm-hmm. or they could have had you know the man that they're dealing with mm-hmm. which basically means that they're married that's right uh let's say they it was virgins mm-hmm. maidens the pastor you know he still went went off all right because if you entice a young lady you suppose once you you know get to forest base as mm-hmm. you're saying the world mm-hmm. you're supposed to make that woman your wife for the you know for the rest of the time yeah all right yeah so it's not it's not just that's why um it was toby yeah in the book of toby um this woman you know she had several husbands and every time and there was a spirit on her and every time a, a man would lay with her these men would die and toby said a prayer um yeah how will i seek out this woman for 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 pleasure only but for your will what people are facing right but he didn't do that he did it for his own loss his own pleasure that was, that's why we read precepts saying that if you can't rule rule your own house, how can you rule the house? See how that she may I mean, there's other there's other scriptures in in this thing that could have could have you know lead this man to be be more righteous, but the spirit was not on him. The most I didn't call him. I don't know if he come out to jail or if he like he hear the truth in the jail. But at this point in time, the most I judged him. All right. Anything else you want to say about Christopher? All right, and with that, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaq, Ba'ash, Double Honest, the Apostles, and Elders of Breaking the Stone, and Salutations to Sincere Akim, as pushing the truth into the scriptures. Shalom. Ramatak.